Hello, everybody. Teen Sensation Billy Tucci here, and I just want to thank you all for joining me on my unboxing day with Billy Tucci videos. I am having a blast opening up some of these amazing, amazing projects, and I hope you'll continue watching and continue joining me. So thanks a lot. Remember, peace, love, comics, and we're all in this together. Hey everyone, welcome to Pop XP. And before the show starts, make sure to click that subscribe button and click the bell to get notifications when we go live and we upload awesome new content. And don't forget, if you can, make sure to share our stream on all your social media outlets. We appreciate it, and thanks for helping us grow the Pop XP channel. Hello everybody, Billy Tucci here, and welcome to Unboxing Day with Billy Tucci. And today we have a very special, special... Um, uh, packaging here that I believe I was the number one subscriber, uh, sorry, the number one backer on. And what's really cool about this is uh, I had seen a lot of people were getting their books and uh, and their packages, and um, I wasn't getting mine. And I contacted them via Kickstarter, and I said, wait a minute, I was the number one backer. How come I haven't gotten mine yet? And then it came to me in two days, in two-day FedEx <laughs> uh you know airmail so uh very excited about it so let's open it up it's on a, a, a really nice expandable box heavy duty heavy duty packaging box and it's a u-line so this is good to know because we're going to be looking for something similar to this for our she return of the warrior volume one uh omnibus edition so what it is is something i'm super excited about something that i am so proud to say that i was actually there in on the beginning and i saw it coming to 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 fruition and what we have right here is the darkness complete collection volume one hardcover from top cow productions and uh let's just take that out here and uh there it is look at that so we got our stretch goals all together let's open them up first and uh this was actually taped up, and I actually opened it up uh, just for speed, for whoops, for speed expediency's sake. This campaign was huge. It had uh, over fifteen hundred backers, and it had grossed over one hundred and forty thousand dollars. So, uh, well done, Top Cow. Let's put the knife away. Let's be safe, right? And uh, let's take a look. Let's see what we got here. So we have a, a mini print I see and a couple other things, but let's open it up. Stretch goals are so much fun. All right. So whoop, that's the bubble wrap. Excuse me. <laughs> All right. So what we have here, we have our trading card. You have a darkness trading card. Gorgeous. For the 25th anniversary of, of the darkness. And if I could read, that's real small. Hang on a second. Let me get my... So it's good to have a handy dandy magnifying glass. So this trading card was oh, all right. So you got Joe uh, uh, Benitez. You know we had our boy, friggin' the the beast Benitez the beast and Joe Weems inked it. Beautiful. I believe Joe was the first. I think Joe Benitez was the first artist on it. So uh, two Joes. Bookmarks. Bookmarks are awesome. Uh, great art too. That looks like uh, Joe Benitez art, too. It says, my buddy Rob Bob says, Benitez. Let's put that here. Nice coaster. Oh, I like that. I'm going to look at this campaign by Mark, of course, Mark Silvestri, and by Matt Banning, who inked it. Matt, real thick, perfect. Put my beers on that. 25th anniversary uh, commemorative edition of The Darkness. Wow, Darkness number one, 25 years ago it came out. This campaign ended on... Uh, January 29th, 2021, uh, and I got this book pro in a few weeks. So, uh, no, I'm sorry. The, the last update was 2021. It was late 2020. So, uh, nice postcard. Look at that, old, old-timey postcards. What a great cover that was. I remember when this book was being developed back in the day. Oh, a little door. Door, a little hanger there. Lights out. <laughs> nice. <laughs> and this book was huge. A mini print, which measures... Seven by ten, I'm sure that's what it is, because it's book size, so it fits. Again, a very, very smart thing, guys, is do your mini prints comic book size, so then it could fit in with the packaging right here, and you could ship it. Nice, real nice, ten point stock, glossy. This classic Mark uh, uh, Mark Silvestri illustration with the Darklings, 
and uh, illustrate. I'm sorry, uh, colored, uh, inked by Matt Banning. So let's put that here. Nice 2021 calendar. So there you go. Let's lay that out. And now let's get to the let's get to the goods, the thing that we all all were looking at. So I'm gonna put these things down here. Let's get you know we could just do that with the calendar. Try to fit it all on screen. I got nice and close. Maybe I could pull out a little bit if you guys like. Let's pull out a little bit more. Pop that there. Oh, we don't need that light. That's my light, my art lamp. This is my art table. You are coming from the from the Billy Tucci light box that I've had for 25, 26 years. Probably 25 years because I, I did it's not the original one that I had. The original one I had was uh, they were throwing it out. I, I worked at Macy's. Um, I designed children's wear for Macy's and, and they were throwing it out. I'm like, I could fix that. And it was it was just uh, the light bulbs had to be replaced. So nice bubble wrap. Thank you so much. Oh, look at this beautiful book. Comic book size. This book is huge. Volume one. Re oh, signed by Mark Silvestri. Great dust jacket. I think a dust jacket is something that's really cool and special for backers. I think uh, it, it, it it's exclusive to the backers of a campaign and um, – and uh, it's it's something that makes it special because if the book does go to press, uh, I'm sorry, it does go to Diamond, say, or something like that, into comic shops, which of course you want to do. Uh, if my, if I could, yeah, see, so here, so he's got the the barcode here, and what Mark did is we have the uh, the the special dust jacket, the Kickstarter exclusive du dust jacket, just for the for the backers. So let's read a little bit about it. All right. The criminal underworld of New York City is a dark and brutal. You know, I'm going to put this, this. Let's do this real quick. Let's just pop that here. All right. Here we go. So, so you guys can read it along with me. The criminal underworld of New York City is a dark and brutal place, but it's never seen horror like this. Created by industry legends Mark Silvestri and Garth Ennis, up and coming mobster Jackie es Estic Est Estacado. I could never pronounce his name discovers a nightmarish new inheritance, the supernatural power known only as the darkness, weighing his conscience against, uh, against the ability to mold the shadows to his will. Jackie finds himself dealing with the worse, with worse than usual wise guys and ancient, and, and uh, worse than usual, usual wise guys, an ancient cult and angelic alchemy and the corrupting consequences of the demonic entity empowering him. Collected darkness, uh, number of issues one through 18, Tales of the Darkness, issues one through four, The Half Darkness, um, Prelude, uh, number one, and Witchblade, number 10, 18, and 19, which is when the, the Witchblade and the Darkness crossed over. Again, signed by Mark Silvestri. Beautiful. This hardcover, let's see how much the hardcover was. I think it was, shoot, 50 bucks? 50 bucks only for this. And it's on a, I have to say, this is probably a 60 pound paper. Um, yep, and here's the here's the preview cover art. Yeah, look at this art by Mark Silvestri and Matt Matt Banning, uh, colored by Steve Furchow. And uh, you just look cover and art by Mark Mark Silvestri. First edition book design and layout by Vincent Valentine. Great job, Vincent. Uh, first edition edited by Elena uh, Salcido. Uh, Salcido. So uh, yeah, I'd say this is probably a sixty pound paper. A uh, beautiful look at this gorgeous Silvestri art. Gorgeous matte banning um, inks. Uh, you just look at that. Man, this screams 90s awesomeness and greatness. Uh, I'm so, so happy to be to be a part of this um, that we did a crossover with Witchblade. Mark allowed us to do use the darkness and our battle books, which we will do a battle book show. Um, and uh, you just look at this color. I mean, this, I think this is the epitome of fun comics was the 90s. Uh, before, you know, the industry end up crashing, I don't know, seven years, eight years later. But this is the, remember the days when we used to do splash pages like this? Because we could. We had fun. And uh, look at this. He is just he is just great. He's a legend. Uh, Garth is a legend. Extraordinary storytelling. Extra, look how fun this is. And you can't go wrong with Garth Ennis and Mark Silvestri. How could you? And it uh, gives the Darklings, evil little bastards that they are. And... Uh, this is just look at this man, hardcore and with the sergeant little homage to Sergeant Rock there. Great stuff, Mark. Great stuff, Garth. Again, beautiful, beautiful, fun book. What I love about it again, it's it's told. You have all these extras. Look at this. 
man, look at this. Chapter 18. This book is huge. I don't know how many pages this book is. Let me see. I don't know if they if they describe. I mean, this book has got to be 400 pages. And I apologize for not knowing how many pages it is, but it's huge. The Darkness Commandant has been sold out, has been out of print and sold out. So the original series is gone. You can only get it, um, uh, only only get it, uh, you know, on the aftermarket. But again, just beautiful work, uh, fun, fun stuff. Look at this, sexy, fun man. Nineties badassery, early two thousands badassery. Look at this. Look at Sylvester. Look at Mark. Jeez. J.D. Smith. J.D. Smith is one of the best colorists in the history of comics. J.D., I, I had the, the force of coloring some a lot of she stuff, a lot of covers, uh, pinups, things like that. But uh, this is just stunning. Just stunning. This is by Joe Benitez, or as uh, Rick says, Benitez, and Joe Weems. Joe Weems is an interesting story about the anchor Joe Weems. I met Joe Weems online trying to get work at the San Diego Comic-Con in 1993 when we were trying to get work. Joe, of course, got work. I didn't, and nobody wanted me, so I decided to do my own comic, and thank goodness for that. But Joe is still one of the best inkers in the industry. Look at this. Beautiful. I love the colors. You can't beat these colors, man. Fun. So look at this. Look at all the detail. Look at that. Extraordinary. Just extraordinary. Well done, Mark. I don't know what to say, guys. You get your darkness. You get your darkness complete. You get your complete the darkness volume one, signed by Mark Silvestri. Hang on, let me put this back. I don't want to mess this up. With a special edition dusk jacket that is only available to the to through the Kickstarter backers. Beautiful package. Look at that. You get your image thing again. This is just for you guys. As you can see, it's got the little Kickstarter on it, and uh, I don't have to say, man. Well done. Great stretch goals. Doorknob hook, hookup, postcard. The coaster is really cool. The sticker. Where's my trading card? I want my trading card because I collect my trading cards. A calendar and a mini print. Did this pop for me? Hang on. Let me pull out a little bit. Did this pop for your pal Bill Tucci? The Don, comic book industry legend. Heck, yes, it did. This is great, guys. Sorry, I'm a little bit off. Wonderful, huge pop. Well done, Mark Silvestri. It's going to be a perfect companion to my Witchblade um, Volume 1 uh, on the bus edition. And guys, can't go wrong. Mark Silvestri, a king of the industry. Thank you, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Hey, everyone. Thank you for joining us on Pop XP. If you haven't already, make sure to click that subscribe button and also click the bell for notifications when we go live and we upload some awesome new content. Also, don't forget to head on over to Twitter and follow us at the Pop XP and over on Instagram at the Pop XP. Thanks again, everyone, and we'll see you soon.